Thank you for joining us. Today we're going to learn about our beta fish. So, without further ado, uh, these are our fish supplies, which is written on the label of the bucket, and you could find that under the kitchen sink at program. Uh, we have three kinds of tropical fish food, and they are similar. I use the one that says beta fish on it. Uh, we have two that are pellets and one that are flakes. I like the pellets because it's easier to measure. That one is the flakes. So I also put a small bowl in our supplies to put the fish in when I'm cleaning their home but I use something bigger if possible. Uh, here is a net to transfer the fish, and I try to use good techniques so I don't hurt or scare the fish when I'm moving them. Uh, I added also a great brush so, so that we can brush our fish bowls nice and clean. All right. Here I am getting a bowl ready so that our beta fish have somewhere to wait while I clean their home. I'm making sure that the water is the same temperature as their home so they feel safe and comfortable. Beta fish are native to the Mekong Basin of Thailand, Cambodia, Laos, and Vietnam, and are mostly concentrated in the Chao Praya River of Thailand. Beta fish can be found in standing waters of canals, rice paddies, and flood plains. On the 5th of February 2019, Thailand's Council of Ministers confirmed that the betta fish would be honored as Thailand's national aquatic animal. The other national animal of Thailand is the Asian elephant. Oh, what a good team. It's time to try and use good technique to safely catch a betta fish and clean its home. Our volunteer for the day is going to be Knuckles. That's what I call the red one. Uh, I call the blue one Sonic. You can call them whatever you want. Uh, if you want to call them something different, mm -hmm. I am sure they won't mind, and I certainly won't mind. Not bad. Let's see if we can get him back in there later, just as smoothly. As I remove the first bowl, you will notice that I put some plastic plants between the two bowls. You might remember that the fish bowls are normally on the wall at program. I put plants between the fish bowls so that our fish won't have to see each other. You might be wondering why our fish wouldn't want to see each other. Beta fish are known to be highly territorial and aggressive, and they would probably fight if they were in the same bowl. Beta fish are known are also known as Siamese fighting fish. Some people of Thailand and Malaysia were known to have collected beta fish and bred them for aggression. Fish fights were so popular in the region that even royalty would participate. The Thai name for beta fish is Pokat, which means biting fish. So how does a fish's home get dirty? Um, well, in a lot of the same ways that our houses get dirty. And fish don't have a separate bathroom, so that's one thing. Um, you have to worry about not overfeeding the fish because the food will drift down to the bottom and uh, it goes bad. You don't want to eat food that's been left out for, for a couple days because it will get contaminated with bacteria and you will get sick. Same thing happens to these fish. We can help keep our fish's home clean by taking out a cup of water from their home and replacing it with a cup of fresh water every day. A lot of the time you can tell if water is unsafe by how it smells. You won't want to drink or bathe in water that smells very bad and fish won't want to live in it either.
Notice how thorough I am with the brush. I am brushing and brushing, making sure I get all the hard to reach places just like you should do when you are brushing your teeth. Brush and brush as long as it takes to prevent disease. Also notice that I am shaking the fishbowl so that I get any leftover food or excrement out of the rocks. We don't want anything in there but fresh water and clean rocks, and also their clean plastic trees. And finally, when the bowl is clean, I need to remember to fill it with warm water around room temperature. It's time to get our betta fish back in its home. Hey, don't worry, man. You'll be back in your bowl in no time. Now I'm going to show you uh, my morning routine for the fish. Good morning, fishos. Good morning. So I give them three pellets. Are you ready for this? There you go. That's one for you. All right, you ready? I watch them eat them okay. all. I don't put them yeah, all yeah. in there at the same time. And then I know that they've eaten enough. Because these things expand in their stomachs. There's another one. All right. Um, and I do this in the morning and at around three so that they will be ready for that to be their feeding schedule at back at program. So if you want to help me with any of the fish or any of the fish mm -hmm. things like cleaning the bowls, uh, let me know or let anyone else know that you might be interested in helping out. Um, and I hope uh, that you will say hello uh, to our betta fish. Yeah, so, I think I read that the uh, size of a betta fish stomach is the size of their eye. Where's that? It's right there, bud. Okay, and you could have just a little there we are. All right, sweet.